as you see here, this is Pokemon Crystal. This is for the Pokemon Scramble Challenge on O&M. If you don't know what Scramble Challenge is, it's pretty much um, people sign up for it. You get to choose a game, um, Pokemon game, um, particularly preferably from main series such as like Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruptail, Ruby, Sapphire, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, etc. And everyone else chooses your team. You get to give one person, as long as you're signed up for it, you get to give one person a Pokemon they can use. Um, I'm not really too much sure if you get to choose specific moves or that, but you could choose like if you want them to start with Bulbasaur, or if you, and you want it to stay as Bulbasaur, if you want them to keep it, make it just an Ivysaur or a Venusaur, etc. And pretty much you get to choose the whole team, and yeah, and if you're out of luck that you don't don't have a heat gem or, or a heat gem or someone that could learn fly, you have to ask them if you could change on your Pokemon. And so, it kind of gives it a bit of fun, and I guess it's somewhat different than other challenges you get, but maybe not more exciting or anything like that, I'm not too sure. So yeah, I pretty much just ask people to give me any Pokemon that wouldn't be boring to use or that, and yeah, see their name with a column. I won't say what Pokemon I'm going to use, um, if you're part of O&M, you've probably seen this already, you probably know I'm going to use anyway. If you haven't, I guess that'll be somewhat of a surprise, I guess, and... Obviously, yeah, you're going to see the stars soon. So I'm going to PC here, I'm thinking, hope okay, you a potion in there, but there obviously isn't. And I just like checking around the stuff, like seeing what it says, really. It's been a while since I've played um, any of these retro games, really. Um, so yeah, and just so you know, it's not really as much of like a walkthrough that I'm going to go straight through the game as fast as possible. Um, I'll just probably wander around, and there will be points where I'll get lost, particularly after the first few towns, I think. Is like Morty, Marty, I don't know, whoever the first gym leader is, I've run about there, I'll probably get quite lost. I'll probably get lost in Goldenrod as well, actually. But yeah, should be fun. So, I don't know how good this will actually be, like, entertainment wise. Um, mainly because, at least at the start, nothing too interesting happens. It's just a lot of random stuff. You're training your Pokemon, you're training it up, you're getting beyond the tackle, leer, growl, spam, and then there's also the fact that. I haven't actually narrated anything really properly outside of battles, and I don't even know how good you lot think I am actually at battles, no matter at narrating a somewhat of a walkthrough. So yeah, at least in this part, the quality changes randomly throughout because I was just testing um, to see how well, what was the best way to record it for the best quality. Um, I'm not really sure if actually in the end I've chosen the best thing, but yeah. I just keep talking to people. I talked to Captain Dishbag here, who's looking in the window. I'm guessing that, and he kicks me several feet away, but somehow I still land on my feet. I must be part cat. And so yeah, to go and see Elm now for entertainment purposes, as he has to ask me a favor, 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 um, whatever. Um, I remember, yeah. Yeah, record. This is. I think this was the third time we recorded the actual crystal thing. I think I recorded it over a four times. The first time I went through it, then I think I, I can't remember what happened. I changed my mind, and then the second time I went through it, I had like about two twenty-minute chunks recorded. They never worked, and I had a third part that about ten minutes. And it looked like more like an LSD trip than an actual walkthrough. Maybe because the screen went all over the place and it was multicolored and everything. Or maybe it was just me that was seeing that, I'm not sure. Then the third time, um, oh wait, this is the third time. Yeah, because of that, I just started again, and then my PC crashed before I actually even saved anything, so I did do it again, but, um, I pretty much just went to the point where I got, because it crashed and I'd only done one battle. So yeah, I'm somewhat slow here for some reason. Um, I thought Chikorita would have been at the far left, so I went in the middle, then the right, and tried to find Cyndaquil. I never actually thought Cyndaquil would be the first one, I was pretty sure Chikorita would be the first, then Totodile or Cyndaquil would be second or third. So I'm quite glad um, I got Cyndaquil, um, I would have preferred Chikorita, but um, Cyndaquil was like my meh choice, it's alright, I'm not about to be getting her. I didn't really want Totodile, so I don't like Totodile. So I'm just going to name the Pokemon after who gave me them, so this is going to be named Soily. I was going to name it Soiled Pants, but I needed one more letter and I never wanted Soiled Pan or something like that, so I just went with Soily. And so now I have to see Mr. Pokemon appears, but I think it will be quite a while until I go see him. At least a few parts in. 
Um, but yeah. So I got Elm's phone number. I am so excited. I can phone Professor Elm anytime I want. That's every guy's dream, really. And girl, in this case. And then I get a random potion, I think, from this dude. Um, who appears to be very busy there, standing, staring into space. Hope he gets paid well. I'd love to get a job like that. Yeah, he's just staring off. And I don't know. I'm not recording this live as I play it. Um, there, are, there seems to be some point there to stop and don't do anything. I don't know why. But yeah, I think I. Uh, yeah, I like reading the signs as well, see if they've got anything interesting on them. Uh, most of them don't seem to, apart from like a town one. So, I think I record this one, this battle, because it's my first match, um, my first battle. I do try to avoid um, many of the pointless wild match battles, I can be bothered to. Um, there will be some in there that will be like pointless battles that I just can be bothered to get rid of. So, yeah, we're going for Sally versus, versus Hoot Hoot. And this is basically... Uh, the end of the game start off with tackle spam and then you either have seems to be like uh, an attack drop a move or a defense drop a move to attack them with so a leer I don't know why a leer I thought tackle oh yeah because he growled so I probably took him out you know it would have just been the same going for two tackles um or some bird and um, so yeah he's still alive there I guess I was maybe thinking leer would take it out or something I don't know these battles are just so uninteresting I guess to get a bit more interesting later on when you have to have more moves and more variety of Pokemon to play against. See, I think I went back to here to heal and then it crashed and then this is a new game. As you can tell, I did this more during the day because it changed straight away from night to day. And um, so yeah, and daytime is quite nice as well. So yeah, how many Pokemon there? Not really. I have to keep out the grass. I'll take note of that fine stuff. Um, I kind of just looking for items, I guess. Um, I can't remember, I thought there might have been someone over there, there was like not. I don't know why I was thinking there's a hidden item around here, there might not be, there might be. I'm not too sure, but yeah. So do I edit this match out? Or, yeah, I do edit it out. Um, I just can't be bothered like showing you lots of pointless matches. Um, like, as I said, I just show some um, against the Hoppip. And yeah. This is actually one of the things I need to catch. Um, not actually a hop up, but I need to get a um, jump plus. But as I have no Pokeballs at the moment, I'm not going to catch for it. And I don't think I would if I did, because at this level, I think it only has Splash. And uh, I'll be just too bothersome to level up in that if it only has Splash. So that means I'm going to have to switch it in and then switch it out for Syndicate or whoever else I have. So it's just a bothersome thing. And I know you get them later on. I think it's after um, the first gym town, I forget, Violet City is it called, it something like that. But after there, I think you get Mareeps there as well. I like Mareep, never got a Mareep to use for this stuff. So yeah, I'm tackling it and stuff, and pointless stuff's happening, and, and it eventually paints. And yeah, oh, I'm level 6. Oh uh, yeah, that battle I skipped, I think I leveled up. So I got another potion here. Um, I remember right when I first actually played um, Gold Server and that, I had like a giant, uh, I had a magazine or something that had like a giant map of like the first few towns in that, and how to get past through the ghost gyms. I was like always using that, and it's it's always stuck in my head, I guess. So for some reason, I decided to keep the centric match in, and this is going to be a very eventful first part. So yeah, the part's going to be ending soon, um, I hope you enjoy, if there's any feedback you want to give, um, feel free to give it. Even though I do take note, I've already recorded like the next 5-6 parts already, well not narrated but recorded. So let me be a while if I implement any changes are suggested. So yeah, um, comment, rate, subscribe, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll have more up soon of Colin's Adventures.